Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So if you are new here, my name is Anushka. Today, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be trying out the new Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. You guys know I get so excited when we have to try Huda Beauty stuff. You guys know I really love her products. Um, her concealer I've been using every day. I've got her foundation, her concealer on right now, and her powder, and just looks flawless, you know? Flawless. But her concealer is so nice, like, I use it every day almost it's just such a beautiful product you guys seem to like my review on that so thank you guys for all the love on that video now I know there's been some issues with my post notification shout outs and I found out why it was going all black so hopefully from now on it's not going to do that but anyways my post notification shout out for today will be going to Algerian underscore hope hope underscore thank you so much for your sweet comment if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is press that bell button that's under my subscribe button or on the side I don't know but anyways press that bell button so you can get notified every time I post let me know in the comments when you've done so or you can just comment anything nice let's just jump straight into the video in the PR package she also sent like these beautiful this beautiful robe I mean it's simple but it's like I needed a robe and I got one and I love it when PR packages have like really like cute things like that like clothes or stuff that I can wear you know I don't know why like t-shirts yeah anyways that's off topic what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to try and do I'm going to try and do two looks on each eye because this is a review so I might as well try two looks this palette is 56 pounds it's called the new nude eyeshadow palette you've got some satin soft mattes multi reflective pearl You've got a few of them actually. Pressed glitters, which were beautiful. Pressed pearl, that was so soft. And cream base, which to be honest, I don't really understand, but it says the perfect canvas to boost your eyeshadow intensity. So I guess like the base, I'm going to put that all over my lid, I guess. Um, it kind of had a little bit of a sheen, but anyways, let's just roll those swatches and we're going to go straight on to applying the shadows. All right, guys, so I'm going to try and do all the swatches on my arm and try and keep them close together. Okay, so the first shade that we have is there. Then we have Crave. Oh my God, this color. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Like, look at that. Okay, so next we have Play, which is kind of like a peachy colour. Okay, so then the next one is Fantasy. We then have Love Bite. I feel like purple shadows are the hardest to swatch. Like, I feel like, and I've heard people say they're the hardest to make, but that is a good purple, I would say. We then have Spanked. Oh, this one's nice. Okay, so then we, we then have Lace. Daydream. That is beautiful. And then we have Tickle. The mattes are crazy, crazy pigmented. Their uh, glitter formula has definitely changed. She did mention it in her video, but it just sticks so much better and even me on my finger when I swatch it. Is Excite. Then have Infatuated. Next we have Kinky, which is a beautiful, very pigmented, like, sheen like a plummy sheen next shade is like a creamy color like literally a cream it's called um conceal i don't know how i feel about this one to be honest apparently it's good to put all over the eye it definitely has that like eye primer feel like there's not much pigment to it in my opinion the next one is secret tease that one's beautiful, I like that one. Okay, so we have Raw. This is Charmed, oh my god. Can you guys see that? And then finally we have Teddy. 
which would be beautiful in the crease or the lower lash line, in my opinion. Okay, so these are all the shades swatched. Right, so I think the first shade I'm going to be taking is the cream base, which is concealed. And she did say that she used this on very deep complexions and it seemed to work fine. I mean, it's applying much brighter than I thought it would on me, but then I'm nowhere close to like a dark skin tone shade. Okay, okay. It's a bit sticky, but it's good for an eyeshadow, I guess. Okay, so I think the first shade I'm gonna take is Teddy. There's a lot of kickback on the eyeshadows. Dabbed my brush in there three times and it's already kind of like, it's quite some powder in there. Now, when it comes to eyeshadow application, I definitely, definitely recommend putting some type of base. And I feel like the more coverage the base has, the more pigmented it will be. So, like, I always use a full coverage concealer, like my Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand or the Huda Beauty uh, one in Caramel Corn. Um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Medium Warm, Medium Dark Warm. So, just, like... To create just to kind of create a blank canvas now this was lighter so the light of the concealer i mean you don't want to go too light to a point where it's like ashy but if you go lighter it just makes the eyeshadows pop especially if you're going to be using it on more darker skin i think it, it does really help because when i put eyeshadows without putting any type of base like my eyeshadows don't pop as much so it definitely does make a difference okay so i'm quite happy with how that blended so easily this is a Morphe M504 brush. I definitely recommend this. Oh my god. I forgot she gave some brushes as well. The one is the Build and Blend eyeshadow brush. So you've got one that's super like fluffy on one side. It's basically a smaller version of her concealer brush that she had. And then we've got a flat applicator here. We've got another flat applicator. But this one is much more dense. So this is going to be good like if you want to really pack some colour on. This is, by the way, the Smoke and Smudge brush. And then you've got this little one here. This is super tiny. And this is going to be really good to get really close to the lash line. And then she's got her silicone one, which is the Fender Blender, which kind of imitates, like, the silicone kind of Im imitates how you would pack on eyeshadow with a finger. Because her formulas are really unique. Like, I, I haven't really come across formula formulas that are similar to hers especially the shimmery ones like the textured ones I'm really excited to try this one to see how it's going to pack on that color because no brush can pack on these shadows as much as well as a finger can so I always use my fingers with her um, shimmery um, textured shadows so yeah this one is a super tiny kind of silicone brush very small but she said that it's going to be helpful to really get in the corner because some people have long nails and they can't get into the corner and then you have this like spongy one i'm not gonna lie this feels a bit cheap but it's like those little standard ones you get in cheap makeup yeah Okay, so I'm going to use the fluffy side on the build and blend brush. And I think I'm going to go for... I want to go darker now. So I think I'm going to go with Spanked. That's pigmented. I definitely have to get used to the brush, but it's nice to blend eyeshadow with. Okay, I love Spanked. So now I'm going to go in with Love Bite, which is the deeper shade in the palette. It's like a really deep purple. I mean, I just can't complain. I just can't complain with these shadows. You guys know how much I love purple. Okay. I've been dying to try this shade. So we're going to try it in Crave. I'm going to use the silicone brush. It does kind of pick it up, you know. I 
I mean, it is picking up actually. I'm gonna try the other spongy side with the same shade. Oh yeah, this one. Oh, oh, this one definitely picks it up. That's my heater going on. Okay, so on the other side of the brush, I'm gonna take Fantasy, which is a more like purpley texture, and I'm gonna just put that in between so that it creates like a transition okay so i'm just gonna wipe the sponge with some tissue and i think i'm gonna take i'm gonna take infatuated which is a glitter i'm gonna pop this all over just to test them out I just love how easy and convenient it is. Like you don't need no glitter glue. If you want a glitter right, you just pop some glitter on and it just sticks and it's beautiful. So the next shade that I'm gonna be taking with the smoke and smudge brush, I'm gonna take the smudge side, the little side, and I'm gonna take the shade Tease. does show up on my eye so yeah I'm happy with that one and I'm actually gonna take some of kinky kinky is the only pressed pearl in here but just want to try it just like in the inner corner here again another color that shows up Just put it on the inner corner. I mean, I really like it. Mm, it is a little close up. Take a bit of bear. I haven't tried bear yet. I'm just gonna put that on the brow bone. I mean, you can definitely, definitely see that. I like to use mattes on my brow bone because especially when I haven't done my eyebrows and they're a bit like messy, kind of conceals the hair as well. I think I'm going to try and make this one look more browny, like with more the cool tones in here. So I think the first shade I'm going to take is Secret. bringing it out slightly this one is very subtle I feel like it, with these shades if your complexion is more on the deep dark side um, a lot of these you can probably only use on the center not as a crease color but yes yeah, secret is nice but it looks more like a taupe in the palette but it comes out very pink on the eyes so just keep that in mind then I'm gonna take raw and this is gonna go right underneath that. See, raw is nice and deep, I like that. I'm gonna bring that all the way in. I'm gonna try and do a cut crease. Wow, raw is actually quite dark, you know. I'm going to use a little bit of tickle and just slightly blend that in. I'm going to take a bit of concealer. I'm taking, I'm using her um, Overachiever Concealer in Caramel Corn. Now I'm going to take the flat side of her Smoke and Smudge palette and I'm going to take the shade Play. I've been dying to try the shade. I'm going to set that all over the lid. Just where we put that concealer basically. 
Okay, I'm very pleased with that peach. I'm also going to take a really tiny brush and take Excite. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try. And I'm going to put this in, like, just on the crease line that we've made. Okay, so I'm taking a bit of Daydream, which is like a sparkly lilac, and I'm going to put this in the inner corner right here. By the way, there's been like no fallout whatsoever. I've used every single shade. Apart from Charmed. Let's use Charmed then. I haven't used Lace. Charmed is a little bit darker so I could get away. I might put a little bit of lace. Okay, I'm going to put some mascara on and I'll be right back. Guys, I love it. Now, if you don't like purple shades, lilac shades, mauve shades, cool tones in general, I don't think this palette's for you. Um... It's got a lot of cool tone colours in here. I mean, my favourite multi-reflective pearl shadows are Crave and Daydream for sure. I really like Teddy, Love Bite and Raw were beautiful. These two are my favourite right here. And then I actually was quite surprised by the conceal shade and I will reach for it more. This was really nice for the brow bone. This was super pigmented. So yeah, for the lid shade, it's amazing. What eyeshadow did I not really like? I don't know if I like lace. I haven't really given it a good try. I like this one, but it's more for the lid. I feel like I like all of them. Like, I could get use out of all of them. But my most favourite ones were definitely Crave, Daydream, Love Bite. The two glitter colours are so stunning. Like, I even managed to do, like, a crease, like, glitter line and it stuck. Here's a close-up of the two eyeshadow looks. It's funny because when I first saw this palette, I was like, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to use most of the colours in here. But they all showed up on me. They all show up on me. So, um, whether I feel like whether it's as a crease colour or the ones I can just put on the lid. Now, I feel like the four paler, medium skin tones, this palette will be nice if you really like the kind of shades that are in there. But if you are darker than me and more around the NT, NT50, around that shade range, and if you're even darker than that, then I would... I don't know if I would recommend it because I feel like a lot of the shadows you will only be able to use as lid shades but none as a crease colour, like a darker colour on the outer corner just to give definition because I personally, when I just put just one colour, like sometimes I do like to do that but anyways, sometimes you just want a bit of definition so a bit of a darker shade to kind of smoke out the eye look, put it as a lash line colour, put it on the lower lash line. I feel like if you're going to buy this palette, you're only going to have a lot of shades for the lid colour and you're going to have to reach for other palettes to get a dark enough colour for yourself to, you know, blend on the outer corner, on the, on the lash line. So that's what I'm trying to say. Now, if you don't mind that, that's up to you, but I'm just going to put that out there. I don't know if a lot of these shades are dark enough for a deeper complexion. Maybe Love Bite would be deep enough and raw, but I'm not too sure. I don't think they would show enough, I don't think they're pigmented enough for crease colour on a deeper complexion, in my opinion, but I haven't tested that out. But anyways, I do hope this was helpful for you guys. You guys know, nevertheless, I would have bought this palette for 56, is it 56 pounds? Um, on Cult Beauty, I don't know if it's out yet, let me check. So this will be, this palette will be launching November 1st. I feel like the glitters and the reflective pearl eyeshadows are just stunning there's something so unique and they're just like that pop of shimmer on the lid it's just so stunning honestly um i really do like the mattes but this eyeshadow is very like mauvey purpley in my opinion like the whole vibe of the palette that's what i'm getting out of it i thought the browns would be brown but they come up more mauvey purple 
like um shades like secret raw and teddy i thought they would be brownie shades but they're more mauvey when they put on the eyes so just keep that in mind maybe if you're paler they'll come out more true to color but for me they come out more like mauvey the eyeshadow brushes are stunning but i definitely recommend the fender blender if you're gonna use this palette it's stunning um but the other shadow eyeshadows there's nothing special about them but they're useful like the bristles are really really soft um, out of the three it's not my most favorite palette because i feel like i feel like your look is always going to turn out a bit purple with this palette but it's still a good palette but it's not my favorite i think my most favorite one is the rose gold remastered because you can create any look with that i might use some of these with the my other ones so it's just nice to have all of them i feel like her eyeshadows are one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas if i wanted the best eyeshadow if i'm going to in a really important like beautiful event and i want my eyeshadow to be popping then i would probably go for huda beauty anastasia or i think those are my favorite the ones that i really reach for if i'm going to somewhere important or you know that i really want my eyeshadow to look good so if you really want like good drugstore eyeshadows then makeup revolution is the way to go they have really good um palettes especially the soap palette and the um tammy palette the tropical paradise one you guys need them i get so many questions about that like what eyeshadow palette would i recommend from that from them and it's definitely those two so and when i say the soap palette the number two one is like the spice palette or something like that i think that's all i have to say guys i hope you enjoyed this video i found it helpful let me know if you uh, have any questions and yeah i will see you guys in my next one bye